And welcome back, viewers. You are here today with another segment of Stuart's story. Now, we're going to start with some guy who've um, happily named the Dr. Doolittle of Spiritual Heal in this one. And this is Stuart's ability to help more than just the common man. So, welcome back, Stuart. How have you been? Yeah, I've been, I've been good, been busy. Uh, I've got a lot of people um, praying about what I can do. But the truth, I don't know what I cannot do. Um, I'm learning as I'm going. This is a through a tremendous gift I've, I've been given from Jesus, God, higher source, whatever you want to call him. That's, that's great, great. Like you say, it's, it's great to know that uh, everything's going great there for yourselves, and it's amazing some of the stuff we've been seeing with still in the group. Now, today, this is a bit of an interesting one, because we're all a nation of pet lovers, be it cats, dogs, horses, some people like pigs, even turtles, um, yeah, strange as it is. Uh, but, yeah, and... In many ways, it's like losing a child when you lose a pet. And I know, obviously, we've got four stories we're going to cover today regarding just that, um, the, the potential loss of a child slash pet. So, do you want to tell me a little about a lady that contacted you regarding her chihuahua? Yeah, there's a, a lady there contacted me with a, about a chihuahua. And they just had four puppies. Um, and she had a... I think it was our partner's um, daughter, our son, the vets, and what happened was the vets said this dog was in severe trouble and said it wants to put him down, put to sleep. She was beside herself, crying and screaming. Uh, so I got this uh, lady, Blandy, she phoned me up. She said, Sure, will you help the dog? And I says, Yeah. She says, She's in the vets, she can't get in the vets because of COVID. Um, will you help? Will you do a telephone healing? I says, yeah, not a problem. So anyway, she contacted me. The lady in the vets contacted me. Um, she was crying and that, and she was obviously upset. She was, the vet tell her this dog needed to put to sleep. It had a one percent chance of living. Um, and so I phoned, when I phoned up, she was crying and crying. And as I'm doing the healing, I asked Jesus to come in to save the dog. The dog itself, so I've been told, it lifted its head up a bit and it was unresponsible before that. And the lady calmed down and she stopped crying. This, this is what she told um, Blandy when she got back. And the lady thought, she says, that's, when you've done that, she says, she, he, she, she went all calm. The dog lifted its head and the vet still tell her to put the dog down. It had 1% one, 1 chance of living. Now... Believe this or believe it not, if you go on the Divine Light Facebook group, Cosmic Healing, you will get that testimony. Even there's a, there's a um, tape recording of the vet saying, uh, well, I'll come to that in a minute. There's a tape recording of the vet on there as well. Um, and she got a phone, she just keep on telling her to put it down. They said they're going to put it down five times. And she says, no, I believe in this healer, Stuart. Maybe I've done my healing. I asked for Jesus for help. And this is, she would get a phone call through the night um, because it had a very low heartbeat. Blood pressure was so low. It had, uh, it had, had its, um, had had a, had its uh, insides taken out, um, hysterectomy, and it had septus. It was getting blood poisoning. And it wasn't going to live. And they said, put it down. It would have a, a severe heart attack through the night and it was killed. She says, no, I believe in Stuart. So anyway, the 10 o'clock in the morning, she got a phone call off the vet. And the vet says, I don't know what's happened. He says, it's a miracle. The dog is up, eating, drinking, and it's ready to pick up at 2 o'clock. <laughs> ah, it was a miracle. Yeah, it was a miracle. Believe it or not, um, it was a miracle. Um, she, she says, went to see the vet, and the vet said, uh, she taped the vet saying this, that it was a miracle. And that dog's still alive now. Um, but that was a power and belief of me and Jesus. And she believed that I could help the dog. And I did. That dog's still alive now. It's went back home to start feeding his puppies. It was a proper miracle. She, this is how, this is what I can't understand, though. This lady, who are nation of dog lovers, this was just before Christmas. 
Um, and she phoned our local rag up the evening chronicle. And she sent them three emails um, telling them what had happened. Saying this was a miracle. And one nation of Douglas, wasn't it? Says one interesting stories like that. I can't get my head around that. That shows how hard this is trying to get this, the message out there that there is help there. There is help from Jesus. Just believe. But we're being held back. And if anybody's not interested in a story like that, it was, you know, if you had a dog lover, that, the local rag, the Evening Chronicle, should have picked that story up and, and run it. But for some reason it didn't. It's beyond me. Thank you. Yeah, it's like you say, it's definitely a reasonable question. You think from a nation where we've got their uh, dog show, cook, the whole work, you know, why they wouldn't be interested in something like that. It is. <laughs> it's mind-blowing. Yeah. But, like you say, what, we've got all that, in, when it comes to this sort of uh, story, all this is on the group. Um, normally we would share a segment, but as it's someone recording, we'll leave that on there for you guys to find, yeah. alright? Um, but moving forward, we're going to talk a bit more about the other, um, in this case, animals you've helped, yeah. and as crazy as it might sound, <coughs> there's also a horse whips by it seems. <laughs> um, we have a two occasions but first one we're going to cover is a lady posted something uh, not too long ago on the group regarding a horse that had a lump on the side of its neck yeah it was a lump on the side of its neck it was um, quite a big lump um, I'm healing well as I went up the stable to heal this horse he was a little bit frantic um, as soon as I put my hands on it calmed down calmed that down that much she thought it was going to go to sleep the horse bowed his head between down between his leg and it just calmed right down. Uh, put my hands on the lump and in front of your eyes, the, the lady was starting to cry with tears of joy because the lump was starting to disappear from the horse's neck. And it's, that's the uh, video is on, um, it's on Facebook on Divine Light Cosmic Healing. Uh, if anybody wants to have a look at it. Brilliant, brilliant. Again, like George said there, it's all there to see. Now, as part of the last, I suppose, segment of this video today, we're going to talk about some we've covered in the past about Stuart's gift of heal from long range over the phone, um, whenever, like I say, wherever, I suppose. <laughs> and we're going to start with Holland and another horse. No, it was a, it was a, a dog in Holland. Dog, sorry, my apologies, got that one wrong. Go ahead, that it was a dog in Holland. Yeah, it was a lady across the, on the phone. Um, she had a dog there. It was five years old. Um, at the time she took her out for a walk getting breathless, um, the vets like, give it a, a, any amount of antibiotics and everything, and she asked me if I could help her, I tried to, you know, she was right, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll do, I'll ask, I can see if I can help her. Um, what can I say to, yeah, this lady there, it's on, it's on Divine Light again, um, the testimony, the dog, the dog made a full recovery, she didn't, know, she didn't know what was wrong with it, the vet didn't, but the dog made a full recovery. Um, and she was, she was a proper dog loving person um, and she couldn't thank us enough. Yeah. Okay, great, great. Uh, I've just funny enough checked my notes here and I can see it's Canada where we had the horse. Yeah, it was Canada, yeah. So it's, again, another distant one. Yeah, across the phone again is a lady, she's from Canada, contacted me. Uh, she lived in a farm out there. Um, the horse had a cut on its head. Um, one of of one of the fences or the paddock or whatever um, and it wouldn't heal it wouldn't close it wouldn't heal she had tried everything the vet put stuff on it and it wouldn't heal and it was weeping and she was just above the horse's eye and it, it was she was getting concerned about the horse's eye um, and she, she phoned us up and she's got in touch and asked us if I could help her uh, she called Jesus in asked for help for the horse I got a phone call back two weeks later and she says, sure, you wouldn't believe this. She says, she says can I believe what you've, what's happened? There, the horse's eye is healed up, it's gone. It's, uh, it's closed. It's, it's perfect again. She says, I kind of thank you enough. Excellent. Like you say, we all know when it comes to the, like say the racing world and the horse world, something like a break, a, a lump, a cut could potentially mean that's the end of the day for that horse. And... As morbid as that might sound, it's 
to the world we're living. Yeah, but I can I can help I can help them animals. Um, I'm going to tell you a story about my own dog, uh, Bailey. He's a loyal dog, lovely dog. Um, I've got quite a big uh, house, and it was it was he had jumped over this fence. He'd never jumped in a phone. He's he's like ten years. Yeah, he was nine and a half at the time. Sorry, he was nine and a half at the time. Um, he jumped over this fence, got his cut leg, back leg caught, and snapped it. Snapped the, the, the ankle part. I took him to the vets, uh, went across the vets because it was just hanging there, his leg. And the vet said, because of his age, and because of the size of the dog, because he's a big dog, um, that they didn't think this would heal. Um, we would all know when an elderly person gets a, a break. Takes a lot of healing because the bones are not knit back together. Dogs are no different. But in this case, this dog was different. Put the pins in. I says I want you to put the pins in. You're not putting them to sleep. And they said they couldn't cut his leg off, amputated, because a big dog would kind of uh, get about uh, like a small dog can for three legs. They said you're not putting them to sleep. I love me dog, and I still love him. But he's still here now. And he's. Done his, um, they've done put the pins in. I said, leave the rest to me. Uh, the vets, well, they couldn't believe it. He's running about, jumping about. He's back, he's back on his feet. The vets couldn't believe it. How, how, how he's actually the bone knitted back together at his age. Um, and he's a fit and healthy dog. He's, I'm surprised he's still here. He's a big, he's a big dog. And as you know, people who's got dogs herself. Um, when they're big dogs, 10 year olds are a new old dog for a big dog. They don't, last as, they don't live as long as smaller dogs. But this dog, believe me, he still he looks about five years of age. Um, big, powerful dog, handsome. Hardly got a grey hair on his chin and he's black. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And that, that was my story. That's great to hear, like you say. I suppose the best way to put this is. If you do have an elderly relative, uh, an auntie, an uncle, an anna, a granda, when they have a fall, you don't hear the doctor say, put it down. No, you put don't. Put it down, you no. don't. So why should we do it with our pets? Yeah. Exactly. The answer to this, guys, is right in front of you. Um, if the vet has given you that diagnosis, take a second opinion. Yeah, well, I've had I've had another person there from, used to drink in this, this you know, he drunk the club, Neil McCarty, you call the guy. The says about the dog he had. I think it was his was a um, small Shih Tzu or something like that. One of them small dogs. I mean, he had had trouble with his tendons, and the vet was going to charge him three and a half grand to to repair this tendon. He brought the dog to me, and the dog he didn't have to have the operation. The, the tendons were mended. So believe in Jesus. Okay, brilliant. So like you, like you hear there, guys, if you if you do feel like you need to get a second opinion or just take a, take a leap of faith, who yeah. knows, Stuart shall feel like you say the contact details are on the end of this video. And as always, the Divine Light Cosmic Healing Group is there, as is, again, Stuart's website, divinelight.ch.co.uk. And reach out to us, please. We definitely, definitely hope you will. Before we go, do you want to say anything? Yeah, just uh, wish news um, all the best for this year. It's going to be a troublesome year for four, I believe. The down loads I get. Um, but be strong. We will, we will prevail. We're coming through this. It will be for the good of humanity. Thank you for listening. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Now, just before we go, uh, one little thing to throw out there. At some point during either February or early March, we will let you know when this will be. We are planning to have another Divine Light Cosmic Healing Live. Yeah. Okay? But keep an eye on you. Like I say, the group, the Facebook will let you know well ahead of time so you guys can prepare for it. But apart from that, um, same as always, guys, please like and share the video if you just love it. If on the Again, on the group, if you guys can like and share the post, let us know whether or not you like this sort of content or you like some different or hey. Put a post up there saying, can you guys do this? Can you guys do that? We'll be more than happy to chat to you about it and hopefully get it done. Okay, but apart from that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.